Hi, my name is Joel Abrahamson and I'll be doing food processing. Reasons for processing food. To make it last longer. To prolong its shelf life. To make it easier to eat. To, pr to preserve it. To make it safer to eat and drink. For convenience. To improve the nutritional value to make it easier to transport many fruits and vegetables are not available all year for people with food allergies advantages for processing foods it kills bacteria in the food it allows foods to be stored for longer periods it makes foods available. It allows foods to be transported over long distances. Processing is useful if certain the foods foodstuffs are in the short supply. It allows people to access to a wide range of foods. Vitamins and minerals can be added to make it more nutritious. It is more convenient. Disadvantages of processing food. Fresh food is usually has higher amount of important vitamins. Processed foods often have more calories than unprocessed food. Some additives that are used in processed foods are considered unhealthy and even dangerous. Processed foods are often often have a lot of fat and salt added to them. Low quality products are sometimes used in processed because uh, in processed because they the other ingredients disguise the taste. Disguise the taste. Processed foods are usually more expensive than unprocessed ones. Examples of processed foods, bread, biscuits, cake, meat, tinned, dried or frozen foods, fizzy drinks and snack foods. Methods for processing foods, preparing, for example, peeling, skinning, chopping or slicing fruits and vegetables. Cooking, for example, baking, frying, boiling and roasting meat, fish and vegetables. Cooling. Slowing down the growing of microorganisms by storing perishable food items in the refrigerator below 5 degrees. For any perishable item. Pickling. Preserving food in an edible liquid that kills or inhibits growth of bacteria onions, gherkins and other vegetables. Preserving heating food with sugar to kill the bacteria and storing in bottles of cans, fruit, jam, marmalade, honey and crystal fruits. Freezing. Storing food below 10 degrees to stop the growth of microorganisms, meat, fish, vegetables and ice cream. Fermenting, a process using yeast or bacteria to turn sugar and starches into alcohol and organic acids, dairy products and beverages. Pasteurization, heating liquids to higher temperatures. Temperatures and then cooling quickly to kill microorganisms milk, juices, wine, and beer. Curing. Preserving food by adding sugar, salt, or nitrates, and often adding addiction, addition, cooking, spicing, or smoking the food, fish, ham, bacon, and fruit. Canning. Cooking food, then sealing it in st st 
sterile jars or cans and boiling the containers to kill or weaken any remaining germs, vegetables, fruits and soups. Drying. Removing moisture from food by either spraying, spray drying or freeze drying. Dehydrate soups and gravy powder. South Africa is very rich in diversity. Pap is made from maize or sorghum and often fermented for a few days. Ngomboti is a traditional beer made from the Kosa people from maize. Magei Mahi is traditional South African non-alcoholic drink. Amasi is a type of soured milk that tastes similar to cottage cheese or plain yogurt. Botong is another local product which is dried and cured meat made from beef, game and chicken. Thank you, Joel Abrahamson.